Fortunately, we're not seeing weather to that extent here at home. We did have a little bit of rain this morning. And Robert, you say there's actually a chance we could see more rain to come in the coming days. Yeah, we have uh, a little bit of rain chances remaining tonight and then tomorrow. But after that, it is full on heat wave from there, unfortunately, folks. But since we just talked about Hurricane Henri, I figured that's where we'll start. It is there. It doesn't really look like a hurricane right now. It's kind of ragged. It's battling some shear and shear is a hurricane's biggest enemy. It's a thunderstorm's best friend, but it's a hurricane's worst enemy. The center of the storm is right in here. So a lot of the convection off to the southeast part of the, the center of circulation as it continues to move up the uh, North Atlantic here. So where's it going? Here's where it is right now. This is the uh, outer banks of North Carolina. You got the uh, Hampton Roads area, the tidewater of Virginia, and then the northern neck here of uh, the Virginia coastline. We'll miss all of that, but make a beeline for eastern Long Island and a good part of Connecticut here. And as it makes landfall, it's really going to slow down. It's going to be a huge rainmaker for those part for that part of the country. Big time flooding concerns with Henri. Not so much wind, but it'll be the rain. No rain in northwest Arkansas right now or the River Valley. One cell well to the east, and we have just a, maybe a sprinkle or two in a few very isolated locations. We are thinking some storms may fire back up, but not many. Plenty of sunshine out there right now in Fort Smith, 89 degrees, but that dew point, look at that, feels like 100 degrees basically uh, in Fort Smith. There's the Bella Vista Bypass. There's that ramp that's closed. You can see traffic over moving over the new bridge right now. Nice and smoothly in Bentonville. You're just at 83 degrees. All that cloud cover and that rain this morning really kind of kept temperatures in check for most of us right now. Still in the mid 80s and a few locations popping into the lower 90s in the River Valley, but it is the dew points and the humidity. Uh, Fort Smith, 74 degree dew point, 75 in Boonville. That is tropical. Even Springdale with a 75 degree dew point. That is why it feels so oppressive out there. We'll see a mix of clouds tonight. Maybe a few more showers late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Most of tomorrow should be plenty of sunshine, but by the afternoon hours we're watching for maybe a couple more very isolated showers out there, uh, less than what we saw today. Then we're going to see that heat continue to build this so that by tomorrow kind of under that heat dome and that is not going anywhere over the next couple of days. Lows tonight mostly in the lower to mid 70s, a very muggy night, much warmer tomorrow than what we dealt with today by at least 10 degrees out there. <clears throat> and it'll feel even hotter. In fact, we've got impact days here for the next couple of days as we take a look at the extended forecast. Widespread 90 degree readings there. I don't know why it says back to school on, that on the screen. That's definitely not true. Uh, same thing in the River Valley. Flirting with 100 degrees. Jamie, I didn't put 100 on the seven day because I was shocked in my research that Fort Smith has only gotten to 100 degrees once this year. That is pretty that surprising, is but you know what? I think we're now ready to make the transition to fall. When you think of fall, you think of football 